see that. Good. Okay. Let's get started. Anna, tell us what you're doing right now. All right, so I work with brands right now, Mindful Health, as you mentioned, and Real Dose. And basically, we're looking for ways to base, make the business sustainable. And obviously, we do that through what we call conversational commerce. A lot of the conversations that we do not only support the user, but they bring in a cold or warm lead into our world with the AI bots. And from there, we turn them either into a lead customer and then an influencer, so you have a PR army working for you. Um, like Perry was saying, one thing I want to impress upon about AIs and bots, a lot of people go on the leg of, oh no, they're going to replace us. And I'd like to change the mindset that they're actually there to support you for these small and large problems in your business that you may not know that are there. So we'll, for example, we marry our persona marketing. So we'll put an organic post online. We'll train the avatar on how to respond. Once they respond, we bring them into a bot sequence. Um, something I think we do a little bit differently that I believe is winning, we actually give our bot a persona. One of our bots we call Betty Bot. We let the user know that it's Betty Bot. They're there to support us. 20% of your market on Facebook comes to Facebook for loneliness. So we keep that in mind. You want to, yeah, my, so I can give you the top three. For, this is directly from Facebook because we're a Facebook partner. If you want to know the top three mindsets that you're working with on your Facebook and Instagram platforms, 20% is loneliness, 13% is major depression, and the other 13% comes in for weight loss. Woo. So those are things. I got things. all three of those coming. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, everybody, Perry. And I am the Facebook avatar, it turns out. <laughs> what do you know? So there's a couple different approaches that you can do with the AI bots. You need to start with your intention. What is the intention do you want? Do you want to build a subscriber? Do you want to invite them to your YouTube channel? Do you want to sell them on something indirectly or directly? And that's really how you have to devise your sequence. What we do as well is we embed what's called input behavioral triggers. So we'll take, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ryan Levesque is a great example of survey sequences. We'll take an eight part sequence. We'll actually put it into a conversational piece with buttons that the user is actually answering that quiz. On the back end, we're pulling behavioral, not only traits, but conversational triggers. So we can actually take that subscriber list and retarget them later on down the road. And I know that you asked for examples. So um, we just did like a seven day promo, organic post on inspiration. We were able to do seven posts. Um, we brought in 1,700 cli um, actual clients that converted through this bot. We built a subscriber list of 21,000 people, and the revenue was just shy of 50,000. Now that's organically. What tools are you using? Um, how much of this is, is logic, of you sitting down to logic this thing out, which I know is a lot, right? Yeah. Because right now, you have to, you have to be a beginning logic and a beginning data set usually, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So what kind of tools are you using uh, to assist you to do this right now? Because they're going to want to know that. That's the things they want to know. We survey. We survey quite a bit on. Are there tools to build these bots, though? Yeah. So the bots that we use, I know that Ezra was saying many chats, which is a great option. Um, we personally use chat kits. Uh, I like chat kits. Chat for kits. Chat kit. Yeah. Chat kit is phenomenal from the standpoint of the input triggers that you can pull in. And when you actually go into the live chat platform where you see the avatars um, interacting, you can start seeing their behavioral profiles and the demographics built out. The reason why I think that is brilliant is now I can retarget people that are too tired or hungry with additional products. The other thing that we do as well is we're using a lot of um, Google geocoding. So for brick and mortar, if they're in the area, we can actually have the bot say, hey, did you know that you're like five miles from such and such? And then we can open up a product carousel so we have a one-click purchase. Fantastic. She's kind of dumb, isn't she? All right. Incredibly uh, dumb. <laughs> I get it all the time. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, and we'll come back. We're going to do a round two. So uh, uh, what's your name, Travis? That's right.